Welcome back. Let's now look at tags in Ample Note, how they differ from folders, as well as the advantages they offer compared to traditional folders. In a previous video, we saw that tags can do everything folders do. Assigning a tag to a note is just like moving a note into a folder. Also, you can create hierarchical folders by nesting tags under each other. But what makes tags more flexible than traditional folders is that the same note can be tagged with multiple tags. This is different from other folder-based apps, where a document can usually only be in a single folder at once. Why would I want a note to be tagged with multiple tags at the same time? Well, let's look at some examples. A single note can be complex. The same note can contain ideas from across multiple areas of my life. If I'm working on a note about meeting with a client who's also a friend and also has a startup idea, where do I put this note? There's an equally strong argument for moving this note to a folder called work or friends or even product ideas. With tags, I can add one tag for each category to my note. This ensures my note shows up in every important context that I might need it in. Even though two unrelated notes might not share the same folder, the same idea can come up in both. If the concept of minimalism comes up while I'm jotting in my personal journal, but also while working on my product's onboarding flow, I can simply tag both notes with minimalism. So in the future, when I come back to the idea of minimalism, I can select this tag from my sidebar to find all related notes. Compared to folders, tags can express what kind of note this is, or who created this note, or what project does it relate to. But using folders for the same job gets complicated pretty fast. You might recognize this. I first create a folder for my projects. Then I discover that I have too many projects, so I start splitting them into subfolders called project slash health and project slash film and so on. Then I realize that I want my tasks to be separate from my notes. So I create a new folder called resources. But now, just like with projects, I will eventually end up with health resources and film resources and so on. And very soon I start to regret the whole thing. My health and film tags each appear twice in my system and the whole thing looks really hard to maintain. So what happens if I switch to a system based on tags? Remember how a single note can have multiple tags? Well, I can reserve the first tag to describe the type of note this is, in this case, a project. And I can use the second tag to mark what area of interest the note relates to. This is where I would choose health or film or whatever the project is about. This is much simpler than before and I don't end up with artificially duplicated tags. Also, this system makes searching more flexible, giving me the option to search for all of my projects, regardless of area, but also all of my health notes, regardless of type. Tags are also a great way to mark the status of a note. For example, I can tag a note with waiting to mark that I'm waiting on another person to act before I can continue this project. Or I can tag a project with archived to mark that it was completed and hide it from view. If you want to try switching to tags to see how that feels, we will soon post a video about tagging strategies here on the channel. But for some quick inspiration, feel free to pause the video here and check out this template. And by the way, you can type group colon untagged in the search bar to find all of your notes that don't have a tag yet. 
You can also save the search to your shortcuts to make it easier for you to periodically sort your notes into the correct buckets. So, tags are more flexible than folders in that they allow a single note to live in two or more folders at once. Adding multiple tags to the same note makes finding notes easier. Also, tags are easier to manage than folders and they create less redundancy in your system.